Because when we feel poor and we feel like we have nothing, we have nothing to pour from. We, we say, when I have more, then I'll pour. But I serve a God that says, when you pour, I'll give you more. And to, to combine what Charles and Jonathan just said, when Charles said, you gotta figure out what you need, if you need it, be it. If you need encouragement, encourage somebody. If you look at it biblically, it goes back to the widow and the oil. Um, you know, it wasn't until she started to pour uh, the oil into the jars that her sons had gone and collected from neighbors and friends. It wasn't until she began to pour that it began to multiply. And so, especially in the middle of a crisis and everything that's going on, especially people with jobs that they're being laid off or just not being allowed to come to work for obvious reasons, there's that scarcity mindset of like, I gotta protect all that I have because I may not have more of it. Um, and there's no better picture of that than seeing people at grocery stores like, there's been so many pictures that have come out of like, you know, some young healthy guy with like a two carts full of stuff that he needs and some old lady that, you know, is like, there's nothing left. Um, so if you think about that abundance mindset of just understanding that there will always be more, um, the whole, if you need it, be it, like the like tangible, like real life example is like the things that you need, um, you know, toilet paper, which for whatever reason, some people think that that's something that you need. Um, I promise by giving stuff like that away to people that really need it, you will never go without. Um, it's just, it just doesn't work that way. I think it's, it's fascinating to see how the very thing that you so crave and desire, if you just be that for someone else, that you will create it within yourself. That's right. Or you will create that reciprocal yep. uh, value back from the person that you just supported or from somebody else that sees you proactively supporting another person. Um, but just by the simple act of doing for someone else what you need done for you, it's almost like you're doing it for yourself as well. And you don't do it with the expectation that they'll be mm -hmm. it, but it will show up. So whatever it is that you feel like in your life you need mentally, emotionally, spiritually, how can you take steps to be that for somebody else? And, you know, it's, it's a simple sowing and reaping process. If you plant seeds of hope in someone else, then when the harvest comes, when those seeds of hope start to bear fruit, you are going to be on the receiving end of that hope as well. If you are just feeling mass fear, like reach out to other people and see how you can help them overcome their fears. And it's not exactly like reciprocity. It's not like you're doing that, like I'm gonna call Bob and I'm gonna say, Bob, you know, I know you've been going through some stuff. I'd like to be able to you know, help you. That you're gonna somehow get a call from someone else wanting to do that for you, but it's literally in just the process of doing that for them. It's almost like you're speaking it into yourself uh, as well. And so, I mean, if you think about like the things that someone right now, like really, really needs in their life, well, how can you be that exact thing for somebody else and maybe even more than one person? And I promise you, you will get it back in return. If you put good stuff out, good stuff will come back. And in my personal uh, experience, it comes back tenfold, 20 fold. It's not the, like woo woo, like mysterical, like all of a sudden there's gonna be fog that comes up behind me and I have a glass ball that I'm looking through. It's just having the right intent, being a good person and knowing that good things will happen because of it. And you can boil it down as, as basic as the fact that like no effort ever goes unnoticed, uh, especially effort towards a good, something that's right and good. Um, you know, they, that quote, that, what is it? The opposite of faith. Um, is not uh, belief or it's not fear, it's sight. And so the whole idea of faith is being able to put effort towards and action towards something that you cannot see yet. 
and understanding that like if you take that one step, just like you said, that next step will become a little bit more clear. And then you take that next step and the next one will be clear. But there's so many people that are probably right now sitting at home like praying to God, like I need you to help me. And he's like, I need you to help yourself. <laughs> you know, like that old analogy of the guy in the boat or the guy outside um, treading water and the boat pulls up and they're like, hey, you need any help? He's like, I'm, you know, I'm praying for God to save me. Another boat shows up and they're like, hey man, you need some help? He's like, no, I'm, I'm praying that God's going to come save me. And God was finally like, I sent two boats. <laughs> like, like, like what, do you, what else do you want me to do? Like, you're going to have to do something. Um, but I think that's, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny when you think about how many people are living their life that way. They're like, well, if God would only do this, you know, then I would take that step of faith. Well, it's like, well, God's literally waiting for you to take that step of faith to do what you want them to do. And then that's when the in the doing that you actually, he, he'll finish the rest of the way. Once, you, once you've finished and done everything you can, it's, it's like I was saying, the universe opens the door to walk you in the rest of the way, but it was in that doing that you actually became the person that deserved that. Mm -hmm. You became the person in the doing. You, the, all the knowledge went from your head to your heart. And it's, it's fascinating, it's hard to explain, but it's, it's and there interesting. Would be no, there would be no reason for faith to exist. None. If you were just given everything that you wanted, yeah. and there was no effort on your part, then there would be no scenario where you had to do something and expect, okay, I've done all that I can do and have the faith that the rest will be done for you. If it was just done for you from the beginning, there would be no reason that faith, faith wouldn't exist at that point. So right now you have this opportunity what do I need? Man, I need, I need help. Okay. Give help. I need hope. Great. Give hope. I need certainty. Great. Give somebody else certainty. If you need it, be it. What is it right now in your life that you feel like you need? What is it? The second that I ask that, what is it that you need in your life right now? The second that I ask that, the thing that hits you like that, that's it. So how can you be that for somebody else today? How can you do that for somebody else today? Figure out what it is that you need and then figure out who in and around you can you do that, be that for and watch it transform in your own life.